Reloaders Network, and Range fans, check this out. I believe it's the first to come to YouTube. I believe it is a first to come to YouTube that's actually out on the range, not seen at SHOT Show. Kimber, combat, four inch. You can see there it's unloaded, safe, got the orange tab there in the back. I will tell you, there's plenty of reviews about the Kimber K6, and this Kimber K6 is much like all the others out there. Go see my videos previously. I'll put some links in this video to other videos that I've done with the Kimber K6. The only thing really different is the grips. The grips do have the finger grooves on them, and guess what, folks? They fit my hand perfectly. The trigger is just the same. Comes in at about six pounds for me on this particular Kimber K6 and also Reloaders Network. I'm not here to give you a full review, but I'm gonna put some loads of bacon. <laughs> loads of bacon, that's right. I'm gonna put loads of bacon. This is the first rounds through the four inch Kimber K6. But before we put those rounds through the Kimber K6 or the four inch Kimber K6, we're gonna put them across the chronograph and on the target, we're gonna see how barrel length affects the loads of bacon, 357 Magnum, 158 grain lipstick pills. We're gonna see how much barrel length affects speed out of Kimber K6. I will say the quality is the same because you guys have seen the two inch and now the three inch on my channel, now the four inch on the channel. That's right, we're gonna put them all across the chronograph and see exactly how barrel length affects speed or velocity. And by the way, with the feeler gauge, 5,000s folks, on all three. So the quality of the Kimber K6 is top notch. Let's put them across the chronograph See how it comes out. Folks, we're gonna start out with my concealed carry. Two inch, 158 grain, 357 Magnum. Put them across the chronograph. We'll bring up the chronograph target for you. I'm about five yards down range. We're gonna put six rounds across the chronograph out of the two inch. Jumping. Ooh, that 357 Magnum is jumping out of that two inch. Look at there, folks. They eject just fine. I think about 1,050 feet per second down range. You saw the chronograph. Now, we're gonna move on to the two inch and see what the velocity looks like. All right, folks, we're moving on to the three inch Kimber K6. Three white dot sights on all of them. Out of the two inch, my concealed carry it was about 1,050 feet per second from five yards away, standing in the exact same spot. We're gonna see what the three inch does. This is the old home defense revolver. So we got the concealed carry and we got the home defense revolver. That's wrong reading. It says 193.
They're all pretty accurate, but I tell you what, I think out of the three inch folks, look at there, no high pressure at all. Yeah, no high pressure at all. Um, out of the three inch Kimber K6, 1180 feet ish or so downrange. Whoo! I tell you what, it's hopping. Now let's move on to the four inch. First shots fired on YouTube from the four inch Kimber K6 combat on live range, not at SHOT Show. All right, range fans of Reloaders Network, what we all been waiting for, that K6S combat. Four inch, three white dot sights, one white dot bead sight on the front, and dual sight, dual white dot on the back. Pretty nice, the quality is top notch. On all three of the revolvers in this video, all three have a cylinder gap of five thousandths, folks. That's it. I did it with feeler gauges with the cylinder pulled all the way to the rear. And I tell you, I'm pretty shocked because the quality on these are top notch. We're going to use that old loads of bacon. Same as before. The old loads of bacon, red lipstick. We'll see if we can put red lipstick on a pig down range, get it across the chronograph. Two inch. 1,050 feet per second, a three inch, 1,180 ish feet per second. Now let's see what the four inch can do. First shots. I know one thing, the four inch is much more comfortable Very accurate. Yeah. Oh yeah, ejects easily. Yeah, folks, picked up more velocity in the old four inch. There you have it, 1200, about 1220-ish feet per second, I think is what the average comes out to be. But there it is, first shots outside of SHOT Show on a Kimber K6 Combat on dayatherange.com. To see a full review, there will be a written review as well as more video to come on the Kimber K6 Combat 4 inch. Check it out, range fans. 18 shots from 2 inch, 3 inch, and 4 inch Kimber K6S. I tell you what, if you guys are looking for a comfortable, lightweight, backcountry 357 Magnum, that 4-inch Kimber K6 is going to be really, really hard to beat. Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out.